ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up. Hey y'all, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am grateful that you are here with me tonight. Praise God. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hallelujah. This is a place where the Holy Spirit speaks. I am just a vessel, a part of the body of Christ. I am family to Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord has saw fit for me to be in this position to speak what thus saith the Lord. And I'm going to bring it to you just like that because I am an obedient vessel. Praise God. And I'm going to move into things of God as he is calling me to move in them. And just as tonight, praise God, the Lord has a beautiful message for you. The Lord is remembering those who are heartbroken. The Lord is remembering those who are weary. The Lord is remembering those who are faint at heart. You've been on your journey for a while. You've been walking for a while. You've been standing on the promises of God for a while. And the Lord is letting you know that it's breakthrough time. The Lord is letting you know that he has heard your prayers and your cries. The Lord is letting you know, hallelujah, he's doing it, praise God. He is doing it, hallelujah. He told me, praise God, that you are just so close, hallelujah, to crossing over that finish line. He said the walk is short, praise God. I'm telling you, hallelujah, this might be 30 days for you, 60 days for you, hallelujah. Some of you will receive it, but before the end of this year, let me say that again, before the end of this year, praise God, and you are looking for big items too, praise God. You are looking for big things, big transitions, hallelujah. You're looking for resolution. You're looking for redemption, praise God. The Lord is doing it all for you, hallelujah. He said today, to bring it back to his remembrance. I'm going to read some scriptures to you today. Praise God. A scripture from Hebrews. Praise God. The Lord is letting you know that you are on his mind. He lets you know. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today. He's letting you know. Hallelujah. That you're the apple of his eye. He's letting you know that he loves you so. He's letting you know. Praise God. That his word will not fall to the ground. That his word will not come back void. Every single promise that he has made to you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Praise God. You have already won. You are more than a conqueror. He has good plans for you. I'm telling you when I see his eyes. I see hearts in his eyes for you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. I see hearts in his eyes for you. He's letting you know today that he loves you. He wants you to know that he loves you, that he's pouring his love out through his vessels to you. He wants you to know, hallelujah, that this isn't the first time you're going to hear it. This isn't the second time you're going to hear about his love. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He loves you. He died for us. Hallelujah. He died because he loves us. Hallelujah. He died because he saw the bigger picture of the Father. He died. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, he was selfless. Do you understand? He was selfless in the mighty name of Jesus. And he's still selfless as he sit on the throne mediating for us. Praise God. He is the mediator for us. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful that through him, we are reconciled back to the father. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants you to know today that you are not forgotten, that you are not forgotten. You weren't forgotten when he died on the cross and you are not forgotten today. Hallelujah. The love he had for you on the cross, he has it for you today. Hallelujah. He is everlasting. His love is everlasting. His word is everlasting. What he said about you is everlasting. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give him some praise. What he said about you, the prophetic messages about you, the truth about you. Hallelujah. He said it's everlasting. Nobody can close that door on you. Nobody can say, hallelujah, that's not you. I don't care what they come up to you and say. I don't care what they say behind your back. Praise God. God has already spoken and his word is true. Hallelujah. People can try to make you think differently about yourself. True hallelujah they will do that praise God because they don't like the light in you they don't like how God is using you praise God and some of them are secretly in competition with you understand what I'm saying but what God has called you to do what God has called you to be, hallelujah, it is greater. And nobody can step on your your neck to make you shorter. Nobody, hallelujah, can pull you down, praise God, and make you shorter. Do you understand? I don't care what they say or what they try to do. For God said, hallelujah, the door that Jesus Christ opens, no man can shut. And the door that he shut, no man can open. So no matter what they try to do to you, hallelujah, it will not prevail because God has his hands on you. God has opened the door for you, praise God. And you shall walk through with grace. You shall walk through with royalty, hallelujah. You shall walk through with confidence in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall walk through knowing that God is going to do what he said he's going to do for you. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord gave me this message today, and I don't know who it's for, praise God. But the Lord says that you are heartbroken. 
you are tired you are faint praise god in your journey with the lord hallelujah and he knows this walk has been long it has been a lengthy walk for you praise god some of you hallelujah have been traveling a very long time standing on the promises of god he said his promises will not fall short and they will not hallelujah fall to the ground you understand praise god they will not fall to the ground they will not fall short his promises are already done for you it's just a matter of you crossing the finish line. Just go ahead and walk it on out. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and jog it on out. Praise God. Just go ahead and sprint it on out. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, it is already done for you. You have God's favor. That's his grace, y'all. You have God's favor. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord says the time is now. Praise God. See, I have my book. I took notes. Praise God. The Lord said time is now. Hallelujah. He said that this is an acceleration for you. This is an acceleration for you, praise God, because he's asking you today to bring it back to his remembrance. I'm going to read the scripture in a moment, hallelujah, but he's letting you know that this is acceleration for you tonight, praise God, today, hallelujah. Will you bring it back to the Lord's remembrance after you read this scripture and you apply it? The Lord says it's acceleration for you. It's going to be a mighty change, groundbreaking, hallelujah, renewal for you. The Lord says, hallelujah, there will be contracts renewed. The Lord says dreams, hallelujah, refreshed. He's going to refresh dreams, praise God. That means some of you have forgotten your dreams, but he's bringing them back into order. He's bringing them back into remembrance, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord shared money troubles. Some of you are going through money troubles. Hallelujah. He said, hallelujah, those will be old news items, praise God. That will be old news, hallelujah, money troubles, old news in the mighty name of Jesus. For what he is bringing through this season, hallelujah, it is breakthrough, it is increase, it is elevation, hallelujah. And he is bringing you to a place where there will be no more money troubles for you. Hallelujah. The Lord says there will be kingdom riches for you. Kingdom riches pouring down. Hallelujah. They're pouring down for you. And here, hallelujah, he is the perfect sacrifice who could get this done. He paid the price on the cross for you. He loves you. And he said he did this all for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not forgotten. Hallelujah. He has heard your cry. He has heard your prayers. And it is done. He has heard your cry. He has heard your prayers. It is done. And the Lord says, just bring it back to his remembrance. It's not that he has forgotten. He just loves thinking about you. Hallelujah. He just loves thinking about you. Praise God. He said, bring it back to his remembrance because the Lord loves communicating with us. He loves interacting with us. He loves engaging with us. He said, just bring it back to his remembrance. Hallelujah. So when you go to Hebrews chapter four, hallelujah. Verse 16, it reads, therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is your time of need. Those of you who are faint, those of you who are tired, those of you, hallelujah, who are heartbroken, those of you who have grown weary in the mighty name of Jesus on your journey, standing on the promises of God. The Lord is letting you know to come to his throne with confidence. That confidence is knowing that he's going to do it. Hallelujah. That is already done. So you can come to the throne with confidence. You can come to the throne with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thanking for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you get there, he said that you will receive his mercy. You will receive his mercy. But guess what? You will find when you get there his grace, which is, is his favor for you. And his favor will be given for you to you for the things you need because you're bringing it back to his remembrance. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you, I just love the word. Praise God. I love the messages from the Lord. I love how he remembers us and he keeps us. Hallelujah. Close in his heart. Praise God. He never forgets us. He doesn't have bad plans for us. They are all good plans. Hallelujah. Plans for us to prosper. Praise God. But today he's just letting us know to bring those things that we need back to his remembrance to stand on scripture. Hebrews 4 and 16. Hallelujah. And to know that his word does not fall to the ground for us in Jesus mighty name. Believe it and receive it. I'm just going to go ahead and pray. Thank you, oh, Father God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Thank you for being truth. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for loving us so much. Hallelujah. For never forsaking us. Hallelujah. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are magnificent. You are wonderful. Hallelujah. You are beautiful. Thank you so much for giving us this scripture to stand on in the mighty name of Jesus. For you are our firm foundation. And we 
will forever stand on you. In Jesus' mighty name, we believe and receive your message today, oh Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and receive and believe the message from the Lord today and watch the beautiful things that God does in your life just for you because he loves you. Hallelujah. And remember, his word does not fall to the ground. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings.